School Internship Portfolio Definition of a Portfolio According to Oxford Advanced Learner Dictionary, the word portfolio is defined as a thin flat case used for carrying documents, drawings, and so on. Another definition is that it is a collection of photographs and drawings that we use as an example of our work, especially when applying for a job. In education, the word portfolio means to record and report child's progress. What is a portfolio? Portfolio for a teacher is a recording and reporting tool. It is a compilation of child's work over a period of time. It is an individual profile of a child. It is an authentic data of child's work. It provides holistic pictures of child's progress. Why do we need a portfolio? We need a portfolio to get the authentic information, to support evidence-based learning, to get the holistic picture of child's behavior in all educational domains, whether cognitive, affective, or psychomotor, to identify learning gaps, and to know the strength and gaps areas of child's learning. Kinds of portfolio. As we know, there are many kinds of portfolio, but for our case, we will consider only on two kinds, that is e-portfolio and concrete form portfolio. The following are the characteristics of e-portfolio. They are in soft or digital form. They need internet connection when used through computer or mobile and they are easy to share. Concrete form portfolio, on the other hand, are kept in a folder, they are kept in classroom and seen individually by the concerned teacher. Reporting procedures. The following are the reporting procedures every diet trainee or intern should follow. As an intern, they should write their reflections on child's work to enrich their learning. They should communicate progress of the child with suggestions. They should share child progress with parents or guardians. Record and report as an intern or in other words, portfolio for an intern. For the first year and for the second year. The following are the areas in which first year interns should record and report in their portfolio. These are school-based activities, school-based records, case study, textbook analysis, flora and fauna, and reflective journals. For the second year in turn, these are the areas where they should record and report. In class teaching, here the second year interns need not to record and report in black and white, but instead they will have to engage and teach in the real classroom situation. They have to prepare either a unit plan or mind map. They have to undertake educational visit and they have to write a reflective journals which is common for both first and second year. 
Now, let us learn what are the areas in which an intern needs to accomplish during the first year. School-based activities. In school-based activities, the first area where the first year intern should accomplish is morning assembly. All interns have to observe morning assembly during the first week of their school internship program and are expected to organize and conduct morning assembly in the school where they are allotted from the second week and onwards. School calendar of activities. There are school which have the school calendar of activities but if the school don't have or the calendar of activities is not appropriate in turn are expected to design a new one and report the works in their portfolios timetable timetable is a schedule which indicate when an activity is performed in the school for example when the school will open and close when the morning assembly is held when will students go to play in which class they read a particular subject when they relax and so on that's why every intern are expect to critically examine the timetable that is there in the school and also to suggest and construct a better one if need arise and report the work in their portfolio but with reasons. School Observation Interns are expected to familiarize themselves with the home language of children, their physical and emotional health, their socio-economic backgrounds, their interests, their special needs, and so on. They are required to observe actual classroom teaching performed by their fellow intern or subject teacher of the school and to observe the relationships between the head of school with teachers and students. They also have to familiarize themselves with the basic physical infrastructures that are there in the school. Midday meal. Almost all schools have their midday meal program run in their school. That's why all first year interns have to observe the midday meal served in the school in all aspects. That is, right from the kitchen where it is cooked till it is served to the students. Any special school activities. If during the school internship program there are special school activities like school fate or science exhibition or school sports or examination or any auspicious day like environment day, literacy day, teachers day and so on, interns are expected to participate and write a report on it. School based records. Teachers and students attendance registers. In turn are expected to familiarize themselves with the teachers and students attendance register and to keep a record in their portfolio for at least three consecutive months. Mark register and report card. They have to familiarize themselves with the mark register and to examine the present report card and to design a new one if needed. 
they also have to familiarize themselves with the admission register, the cash register, the stock register, the visitors register, and any other important documents that are there in the school and write a report. Case study. Every intern need to identify problems persisting in the school or in the classroom or stu student learning gaps and so on and to conduct a case study on that particular problem and also to write a report on it. Textbook Analysis All intern in consultation with their supervisor can take any textbook used in the school and critically analyzing it and also to write a report of their findings in their portfolio. Flora and Fauna In turn, must undertake a study of flora and fauna around the school and prepare a report on it. Reflective Journals A reflective journal is a kind of teacher's diary where only the important events, incidents and occurrences related to teaching learning are recorded in words of reflection. All in turn are expected to maintain and keep a daily record of observations and teaching experiences through reflective journals for all activities during the school internship program. Let us see in detail the area which should be accomplished by second year in turn. In class teaching. In turn, have to practice and teach in the real and actual classroom with real students. This is done after arrangement of classes with the school authority with at least one observer from the first year or subject teacher as mentor from the school. As we all know that teaching is a complex process, so in turn have to familiarize themselves with all the teaching skills before entering the classroom. They have to come fully prepared with teaching and learning aids, unit plan or mind maps, and so on. Unit plan or mind map. In turn, have to prepare unit plans based on learning outcomes or mind maps as follows. For primary level, second year in turn, have to prepare a maximum of three unit plans or mind maps in each of the following subjects. Language including first and second language, that is English and Kasi. Mathematics and EBS, including science and social science. Altogether, a total of nine unit plans or mind maps. For upper primary level, there are four optional subjects offered in the DL Ed curriculum. These are English, Mathematics, Science and Social Science. Out of these four, they have to prepare a maximum of three unit plans or mind maps in any of their optional subjects. Altogether, a total of nine unit plans or mind maps. Educational visit. For further exposure, interns should undergo an educational visit to nearby educational center or a museum or a park or a zoo or any places of educational interest to enrich their thinking and observing skills. Reflective journals. 
as in the case of first year or second year interns are expected to maintain and keep a daily record of observations and teaching experiences through reflective journals for all activities during the school internship program. Design of a portfolio. The basic portfolio, especially for the diet interns, should have the following parts. Cover page, certificates signed by principal, supervisor and mentors with official seal, content of page, introduction, records and reports, conclusion. Cover page. This is the sample of cover page which have the name of the institute, the title of the program, the address of the internship school, the name of the supervisor and the details of the concern in turn. Certificates signed by principal, supervisor and mentors with official seal. Inside the portfolio, there should be certificate signed by the principal, the supervisor and the mentors with official seal. These are the sample of certificates and in this case, supervisor declaration and mentor declaration. Content of page. Each and every portfolio should have the page content. This is the sample of content of page with page number in it. Introduction. Portfolio should start with an introduction. This is the sample page of introduction where meaning, importance and uses of portfolio are incorporated. Records and reports. This is the main part of the portfolio where everything are recorded and reported. This is the sample of record and report. It should be remembered that records should be in present tense while reports should be in past tense. Conclusion. Whenever there is an introduction, there should be a conclusion where in turn sum up everything about a portfolio. This is the sample page of the concluding part of a portfolio. Interns, whether they are in the first or second year, are expected to record and reports all in a single register and that register will become a portfolio for them. Summing up, portfolio is the best device for every intern to review child's progress as well as to review oneself for further improvement to make the learning process lively and interesting. Thank you.